Hi everyone, my name is Stuart and in this short video I'm going to walk you through the highlights of the new FME Cloud release. But first, what is FME Cloud? FME Cloud is the hosted deployment option of FME Server. Instead of spending time acquiring, configuring and then securing infrastructure for your FME Server to run on, you can provision a secure FME Server into our cloud environment in a matter of minutes. With this major release, the application has been completely redesigned and rebuilt from the ground up. It's now easy and ever to manage and monitor the health and operation of your FME server. Let's take a tour of the key new features. First, let's take a look at how easy it is to launch an FME server in the new app. This create instance page has replaced the multi-page wizard in the old application. So we're going to launch a staging instance to support the production one we already have. I'm going to launch uh, an FME server 2021.2 in the Canadian region. I want my virtual machine to have four CPUs. I'm going to set um, the disk to be 50 gigabyte both on the primary and the temp. And I only need two backups because it's just a staging instance. Uh, I can also configure the alerts. So here, these are the default alerts that will be created on launch. And I can also configure who will be notified as well. New in this release, I can also assign and I even create a static IP here. So let's call this um, staging. Create static IP. And then I can actually assign that on launch. So once I have everything configured, I can review uh, my choices in this summary box on the right. Once I'm happy, I click Create Instance, and in a couple of minutes, uh, I'll have my FME server staging instance running. Next, let's take a look at the Instance Show page. We've spent a considerable amount of time improving and overhauling this page because it's really the heart of the FME Cloud application, as it's where you go to manage and monitor the health and operation of your FME server. So firstly, you'll land on the summary page. This provides a high level overview of any triggered alerts. It then just gives information on both where the instance is running, so which region it's running in, uh, and, and which FME server's running. On this page, you can manage your instance, so you can resize the instance type, you can resize the disks, um, you can also start and stop and terminate the instances here as well. New in this release, you can actually manage the IP address directly from this instance page. So if the instance was paused, you can unassign the static IP. You could also assign and create IPs here as well. You can also manage the billing directly from this page. So you can purchase subscriptions directly here. You can also unassign subscriptions if, if, it, if it did have a subscription assigned. Another big improvement um, is on the monitoring pages. So if we go to the monitoring pages, we're using a new charting library here, and you can zoom now on a specific chart uh, interactively, and it will actually synchronize across all of the all of the charts here. So this is really helpful for debugging. The other thing you'll notice here is um, I actually paused the instance here um, at 11:54, and you'll notice that <coughs> before the pause event, the data actually is still there which wouldn't have happened in the old app. So in this release we actually store the data uh, for the monitoring and display even if you pause the instance and no matter how many times you pause that instance and restart it the data will always be there so you can go back in time and look at trends and patterns for paused instances now as well. The other pages um, have all been ported uh, pretty much directly um, we think we've dramatically improved the usability, but you can explore these pages for yourself. So the final thing I want to show you is the new FME Cloud dashboard. So this is where you'll land when you log into FME Cloud. And the goal of the dashboard really is, is to provide a place where you can go to, uh, to to see if there's any actions required of you, both related to the instances you have running and the account itself. 
So this instances panel on the left here, this is going to show you uh, the most recently launched instances for quick access. You can copy the FME server URL and you can also navigate directly to the FME server here. You can also click anywhere in the panel to just navigate directly to the instance show page. In addition to this quick access, we're also going to show you any active instance alerts. So here uh, we have a, an alert for this production instance here. On the right, we'll show you any account alerts. So these are any actions related to uh, the billing. So a credit card's expired or due to expire. If you've bought a subscription, but it's not currently assigned to an instance. Or other things might be if you have a static IP that's no longer assigned to an instance. These are all going to show up in these panels with actions that you can take against them. Finally we show product announcements in the bottom and we'll also show which support plan that you're on. So that's a brief overview of the new FME Cloud. I hope you like it. If you'd like to trial FME Cloud for free you can head over to safe.com, find the FME Cloud product page and from there you can follow the links to sign up for a free trial. Thank you.